Unlike After Effects, Premiere Pro doesn't have a built-in 3D engine. So can we still create 3D text animations? Let's find out. This is the first video of motion graphics series. I've already imported the background into my timeline. You can easily download it from YouTube if you want the same one. Next, grab the type tool and add your text. Head over to the effect controls panel and change the font. You can adjust the font size and letter spacing as needed. Let's change the text color from white to gray. Once that's set, go to the effects panel and search for basic 3D effect. Double click to apply it to your text. I'll also add a drop shadow effect to the same layer. Now in the effect controls panel, adjust the swivel to rotate on the X axis and the tilt to rotate on the Y axis. For the shadow, let's set the color to yellow and increase the opacity to 100%. Set the distance to 30 to for now. Let's animate the text. Click the stopwatch next to swivel, tilt and drop shadows direction. Move a few frames forward, then adjust the swivel and tilt values. Don't forget to change the shadows direction too. To make it more natural, adjust the tilt value between these keyframes and few frames forward repeat these steps to add more movement. Now, let's work on the shadows. Change the first shadow's distance to 2 and set the color to black. Copy and paste the drop shadow effect. Then change the distance to 4. To add a depth, keep pasting the drop shadow. Set the next one to a gold color and repeat with different distances. Add a light gray shadow and continue this process with dark gray shadows. Here's what we've got so far, but we can take this further. To enhance the look, enable show specular highlight in the basic 3D settings. But I'll go one step further and add a separate lighting effect. Make sure to place the lighting effect above basic 3D. From the lighting effect section, expand the light one and set keyframe on center parameter. Hold shift key to snap the playhead to next old keyframes, then adjust the X and Y values. You can also tweak the major radius, minor radius, and intensity for more control. Let's kick it up a notch. Go to the motion section and add keyframes for position and scale. Increase the scale, adjust the position, then reset both after a few frames. Move forward a bit, increase the scale slightly, and adjust the position. For smooth animation, select all keyframes, right-click, and set the time interpolation to ease out, and ease in. Feel free to add rotation keyframes as well. And remember, if you adjust the swivel or tilt, Always update the drop shadow directions keyframes to match. Lastly, you can apply the VR glow effect to enhance the lighting in your project. I'm setting the luma threshold value to 0.5. If you'd like to use a different color, just enable the use tint color option and choose your preferred color. Here's the final result. You've now created a 3D text animation without needing After Effects. If this video was helpful, then you've to check out this motion graphics playlist.